Well, good morning. Welcome back. Clay Stribling is here with the Amarillo Area Foundation. It's Tuesday. It's Giving Tuesday. We've been giving all week. We need to keep giving and giving and giving. Today's the day, Clay. How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. We're always excited about Tuesday. Tuesday's the day where people really think about, okay, we're finally to Giving Tuesday. It's almost always the biggest day of the campaign for us. So we're excited for a big day. We're looking forward to it. So many of the nonprofits we've talked to have reached out and said they've had really good success. It's been a good campaign. People have really opened their hearts. And so it's been a good week. So tell us how the amplification works, because we've told people all week at News Channel 10, if you're going to give, maybe you're end of year giving, maybe you've waited all year, this is the time to give, because these nonprofits, they get a lot more whenever whenever people give this week. And today, I mean, we're serious. We, we really need the money to come in today. We do. You know, the amplification fund is designed to provide you know, most years it gives you somewhere between like a 7 and a 10% bump on your gifts. So if an organization were to raise 5% of the total campaign money that came in, they would get 5% of the amplification. If you raised 10% of the total money during the campaign, you'd get 10% of the amplification. Um, so it's all designed to reward those organizations that get the word out, that get their donors really excited, and that have a good campaign. How did the Panhandle Gives come about? Um, I, I love our Amarillo Area Foundation for many, many years. Y'all have been helping so many. But when the Panhandle Gives came, that whole project and campaign, it really did change things for nonprofits. And I wanted to see if we could hear a little bit of the story and, and how this became, because I feel like places don't have this. I think that Amarillo in our area really is lucky to have it. You know, we're lucky enough to to build on the Giving Tuesday movement that is nationwide. You know, conceptually thinking about, you know, you give thanks for what you have on Thanksgiving, you take care of your loved ones on Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, you take care of your community on Giving Tuesday. And for us, we didn't want to limit that to just one day. We wanted to make it a little bigger, a little more broad event, one that we could encourage people all week long as you're giving thanks as you're thinking about your your holiday giving think about your community the whole time and so we just really built on giving tuesday which has been such a tremendous thing nationwide they do such a good job and we really love to partner with them and really kind of make it our own well, we're going to see those numbers change in a little bit. While we've been on air, those numbers have changed. I think we're going to see uh, more giving throughout today. Tell us the ways to give. And I saw you recently with First Bank Southwest. I know that our other banks very much wanting to help, and, and there's easy ways to do that. You know, the easiest two ways to give are, number one, online. You can give a gift online at panhandlegives.org, thepanhandlegives.org. Or you can go to First Bank Southwest, Amarillo National, or Happy State Bank branch and drop off your donation there. Everyone in the branches, they're very familiar with this. They know what to do with contributions to the Panhandle Gives, and they have been such great partners. It's been a pleasure to work with all of our banks. In the past years, uh, y'all have exceeded your goal, and I think that we know that by the end of the day, we're going to see some some momentum. Uh, when do nonprofits and when do people get to, to see this gift and, and get to have that help them? So we'll be calculating for several days, actually. You know, we, we get checks in and through, through the end of the day today. We have online gifts through midnight tonight. Our accounting staff works really hard starting in the morning to get us some totals. We usually try to have checks out before the end of the year, so the nonprofits have this for holidays, you know, some of those needs that come up in late December. So we really strive to get those gifts out as soon as possible, but certainly in time for the holidays. Very easy to get on the panhandlegives.com. Am I saying that right? Yeah, panhandlegives.org. Dot org, O-R-G, and you can look up uh, whatever you want. There, there's so many, um, 228. 228 organizations. You can search by category if you want to search animal welfare or arts and culture or music, any of these things. You can search that way and find an organization that just speaks to what you're excited about. I love that. Oh, thanks for taking time for us. Thank you. Listen, you're going to have uh, ending a great campaign. It's really going to happen. And people, I know, as they're hearing this message, and we're going to continue to get that message out all day long for you. But people really are going to give. I know this community, you said it last week, one of the most giving 
uh, in, I know, in our state and really in our nation. We yes. have the best people here. We do. And it's been a rough year, too, with the disasters and everything else going on. They've already opened their wallets all year long and given to their neighbors, but they continue to do so. We're looking for the end of a great campaign. Um, very quickly, I want to talk about your new building before we go. It is beautiful. Uh, I'm so glad that y'all are already in. Uh, how was that process? I know, what was it like, you know, when you build a house, like you're ready to get in, you're ready to get it finished, and everyone really excited, but it's beautiful. Thank you. You know, the process for us was we had a really smooth process. Process. We had great partners throughout this. Western Builders did a great job with us, and we really had great partners all the way through. For us, the stress was timing. You know, we started this process at maybe the very worst time you could start a building process, right before you have, you know, supply chain challenges and a global pandemic. So, you know, those challenges aside, it's been such a great process, and we're so happy to be in our new location. Well, please come by and visit. You can bring, I mean, if you if you have to, if, if you're uh, downtown, come by and say hello and, and visit because this, this really is a beautiful building. Keep doing the good work. The Amarillo Area Foundation, y'all have done a fantastic job, and thanks for taking time for us. The PanhandleGives.org. Get on there, and let's make it a great Giving Tuesday. Thanks, Allie. Thank you, everyone. It's been a great campaign. Thanks so much, Clay. You Sheldon, you guys, we'll be back and talk peanut butter. Elvis is here. We need peanut butter. we got to talk about it. Stick around.